You're watching GMT on BBC World News, our top stories. President Trump is accused of racism after telling a group of ethnic minority politicians to go back to where they came from. He told the four women, three of whom were born in America, they should fix the catastrophic governments in their countries of origin instead of criticizing the US. We'll bring you rare access from inside Iran as last-ditch talks try to stop the country's nuclear deal from collapsing. Iran is still a good year away from developing a nuclear weapon. We think there is still some closing but small window to keep the deal alive. England! And surely the most exciting World Cup cricket match of all time, England beating New Zealand in a thrilling final. Look at this picture. We're going to be talking to the diver who got up close and personal with this giant jellyfish. Also on the program, Aaron is looking at China's economy today. Yeah, right? Lucy, we know it's the world's second biggest, and we also know it's having a bit of a trade tussle with the biggest. And I tell you what, that US trade war is beginning to bite. China's economy grew at its slowest rate in nearly 30 years. So stay with us, because we're going to find out what does Beijing do? Will it throw more cash into the economy? And will the low numbers force the Chinese to finally strike a deal with Washington? Hello, welcome to GMT. I'm Lucy Hawkins. President Trump has triggered a furious reaction from the Democratic Party after he suggested that a group of ethnic minority congresswomen go back and help the places from which they came. It's thought he was referring to four congresswomen. Three were born in the US, one moved to the US as a child.